Six million years ago, the skies of Argentina was home to a fearsome bird, Argentavis, the largest bird to ever take to the air. It weighed in at 70 kg and had a wingspan of 7 meters. Join me today on Ancient Yoke as we take a look back in time at this ancient animal and see how it lived and eventually died out. Enjoy. Argentavis was a member of the extinct group of predatory birds called the Teratorns. They are related to storks and new world vultures such as turkey vultures and condors. But Argentavis completely dwarfed the massive Andean condor, weighing six times more and with a wingspan of over twice as long. There is no question that Argentavis flew. It has all the characteristics of modern flyers, including light, hollow bones and strong, sturdy wings. From the size and structure of its wings, it is suggested that Argentavis flew mainly by soaring, using flapping flights only during short periods. It is probable that it used thermal currents as well. Especially for takeoff, it would have depended on the wind. Although its legs were strong enough to provide it with a running or jumping start, the wings were simply too long to flap effectively until the bird was some height off the ground. Skeletal evidence suggests that its breast muscles was not powerful enough for flapping for extended periods of time. Argentavis may have used mountains, slopes and headwinds to take off and probably could manage to do so from even gently sloped terrain with little effort. Comparisons with extinct birds suggest it laid one or two eggs with a mass of somewhat over 1kg, which is smaller than an ostrich egg. Climate considerations make it likely that the birds incubated over the winter mates exchanging duties of incubating and gathering food every few days, and that the young were independent after some 16 months. Mortality must have been very low to maintain a viable population less than about 2% of birds may have died each year. Because of its large size and ability to fly, Argentavis suffered hardly any predation, and mortality was mainly from old age and disease. Argentavis were large predatory birds with a large beak with many cone-shaped spikes, similar to teeth. They hunted small land mammals and lightly fed on larger animal corpses. When hunting, these birds could spot their prey from very high in the air. Once they located their prey, they would swoop down and grab them by the neck to kill them. Finally, they would swallow their prey whole as soon as possible without landing on the ground. Their mouth structure suggested that they usually used their teeth to kill their prey and then swallowed it in large chunks instead of ripping the flesh. Their prey could include rodents, armadillos, small sloths, rabbits and dead mammals. Argentavis likely consumed 5-10 to 10 pounds of meat per day since this was their primary source of nutrition. Biologists have studied the remains of Argentavis bodies and made hypotheses based on the creature's diet. This information is based on speculation on the animal's habitat from the location of their fossils. Argentavis was alive from the late Miocene period to the end of the Pleistocene period, about 6 million to 10,000 years ago. The first specimen of Argentavis was found in Argentina. They evolved all over South America, flying over extensive grasslands and living on high mountains or treetops. The most significant threat to the creature's existence was climate change. Argentavis thrived during the late ice age, so as the earth warmed many animals went extinct and Argentavis eventually met the same fate due to the lack of prey. Humans and Argentavis also likely crossed paths as humans first came to South America around 15 to 20,000 years ago, so some scientists believe humans played a part in their extinction. Although Argentavis was gigantic, it couldn't lift an adult human off the ground and fly away with them. It's still terrifying though to think that humans once lived alongside this giant bird. 10,000 years ago was the end of the last ice age, so the earth was going through a period of rapid warming. This, among other factors, caused the mass extinction of the majority of large animals in the Americas, setting off a chain of events that affected almost every animal in the continent. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any suggestions for a future video, then leave it in the comments below. Have a good one.